Hi, welcome to today's class. Look at this question before us. Yeah, how do we solve this? Yeah, we can apply different approaches or methods in solving this challenge here. But I'm going to give you the quickest one, the shortest one possible for you to be able to beat the examiner time. All right, so how do we solve this? The question is a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 equal to 21. And we have this equation to be a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 equal to 29. What is the value of A times B? All right, so let's take our selection here. So we all have our selection. Okay. So like I said, let's give this equation one and let's give this equation two. Now, if you look at these two equations, this is uh, a simultaneous equation of which we have quadratic, quadratic. Okay. So the first two we're going to do here now because here we have A, we have A here, B, we have B here, and so. We go to either uh, solve by the substitution method or the elimination method. But here, let's use the elimination method. Okay, so we take the first equation. So we have here our a to the power of two minus b to the power of two equal to twenty one, and we have our a to the power of two plus b to the power of two equal to twenty nine. Right. So what do we do here now? Because we are using the elimination method. So from here, what we do here now is easy. And so we want to add equation one to equation two. So here we are adding. And why are we adding? It is because we want to eliminate B. And the sign we have here is minus plus. So the rule says that when you have minus plus, then you add. If you have plus minus, you also add. But if you have minus minus, then you subtract. If you have plus plus, you also subtract. Okay, so from here we are adding this two here now. So what happened? Plus two a to the power of two plus two a to the power of two. This will give us two a to the power of two. Then this this will leave. So we cannot add this and this together. So if we add this, this will give us our fifty. Okay, so here we have this equal to our fifty. Easy, right? So divide through by two. So if we divide this by two. We call it divide this by two. This this leaves. So here we have two uh, one year, here, here we have twenty-five. So we're going to have here a to the power of two is equals to twenty-five. We are looking for a here. So we take the square root of both sides. So we're going to take this the square root of this and equally we take the square root of this. Then we introduce our plus minus. This this leaves the system. So we now have our a is equal to so we're going to have plus minus five. This is the value of our a. So we can get the value of b from um, putting the whole of this into equation one or equation two. So let's put this into equation one or equation two. Let's continue here. So we can say here, put plus minus 25, sorry, uh, 5 rather, plus minus uh, 5 into equation, uh, into equation 1. Let's put it into equation 1, right? So our equation one says our a to the power of two minus b to the power of two equal to 21. Easy, right? Okay. So what is our a here now? We have plus minus five r to the power of two minus b squared equal to 21. So we can rearrange this system here. We bring this to this side and take this to this side. So we're going to have here plus minus our five r to the power of two here, right? Then this crosses to this side turns to minus. So we have here minus 21. But why this moving to this side? This was plus 2. Yeah, so plus b to the power of 2. Okay, so what is the value of this? So automatically, this is going to give us 25 minus 21. This is equal to b to the power of 2. So if we take away 21 from 25, we are left with 4. So we have 4 equal to b to the power of 2. Rearrange it, we have b to the power of 2 equal to our four. Again, we take the square root of both sides. So we introduce our plus minus here again. So this, this leaves the system. So we now have b is equal to plus minus our two. So we we'll solve for our a already, solve for our b here already. So how do we get the value of our a times b? It is easy now, right? So let's go ahead and solve for our a dot b. Okay. So this now implies that our a times b will now be equal to we have plus minus five times 
our plus minus two here. So therefore, we now have our AB is equal to 10. Okay. All right. Why is it positive 10? Because negative will not come in here. Why? Because if we take the first case scenario, which is plus 5 times plus 2, that will give us plus 10. And if we take the second case scenario, which is minus 5 times minus 2, that will still give us plus 10. So our final answer is plus 10. All right. So this brings us to the end of this video tutorial. If you learned something from this video, drop it in the comment section. See you in our next video. Till then, keep winning. Bye for now.